Hello and good morning everybody, here with Martin Paneff, Chief Account Executive and Trading Analyst GDMFX. Welcome to today's European Session Market Outlook. As usual, starting with uh, North American markets, yesterday uh, both NASDAQ and Dow sideways, pretty much the Dixie Index though is up almost 1%. Um, the initial jobless claims came 6,000 better than the expectations at 200,064. Uh, the Bank of Canada, Governor Polos yesterday had a speech. Basically, um, the review that the Bank of Canada shared is that the overall level of risk of Canada's financial system is largely unchanged from six months ago. Uh, this is what uh, the Bank of Canada said today in its uh, biannual financial system review. While household vulnerabilities have moved higher, the ongoing economic recovery in Canada means that the overall risk remains the same. The Canadian financial system is resilient and uh, functioning effect effectively. The bank continues to highlight two uh, major vulnerabilities related to Canadian households. Uh, the elevated level of uh, household indebtedness uh, and imbalances in some regional housing markets. A third weak spot uh, identified is the fragility of fixed income market liquidity. Today, uh, we're going to see the uh, participation rate, the net change in employment and unemployment rate in uh, in Canada. So be aware, um, loony traders. Monthly budget statement also is coming out from North America today. Next week, um, we're going to have uh, the retail uh, reports uh, from the US, uh, which is on Tuesday. Uh, and also on Wednesday, uh, which is going to be pretty much uh, the most uh, important event for the dollar, FOMC economic projections and Fed interest rate decision and monetary policy statement. On Friday, going back to Canada, uh, CPI uh, year, and, uh, year on year and core CPI uh, in Canada, inflation data is due. European markets, yesterday the DAX 30, 170 pips down, the French um, CAC 40, 60 pips down. German trade balance, actual 24 billion, previous uh, 22.7 billion. German exports came better than the expectations, but lower than previous. Imports is in slight decline from the anticipated 1.2%, but higher than the previous reading. Uh, Swiss unemployment came up as expected, uh, pretty normal. Today, um, it's again all about the uh, largest EU economy where uh, we are looking at matching, if not even better the, uh, than the expectations numbers on the inflation data already. The uh, German Bundesbank president, Mr. Widman, is delivering um, his speech as we speak right now. The UK markets, uh, the FTSE 100 lost uh, a little bit over 50 points yesterday, closed at 6,227. The 10-year gilt yields closed at 1.48% uh, on yesterday's trading. Goods trade balance, uh, 574 million better than the expectations. Total trade balance, uh, 3.294 billion pounds. Trade balance non-EU better than the expectations as well. Uh, basically, with a fresh batch of uh, positive economic data this time from the uh, UK trade balance and uh, the UK economy seems to be getting back on track. Um, however, just like the positive industrial and manufacturing data, it failed to excite investors about buying the sterling. The pound was little changed uh, versus its uh, major rivals due to the major investors are holding off their trades because of the Brexit referendum. Um, on the other hand, the implied volatility on the cable has surged to a seven-year high, a level last seen uh, back in 2009. In numbers, uh, the pound dollar 50 pips down yesterday out of almost 90 range versus the yen uh, 7 pips down yesterday 170 range versus the Aussie the pound did a 135 pips up out of 175 pips range versus the loony um, 140 pips range uh, yesterday closed on a dodgy uh, versus the New Zealand uh, dollar, almost 50 pips down yesterday, 185 pips range, uh, and 30, uh, 32 pips up versus the Swissy out of uh, 125 pips range. Most of those currency pairs are currently uh, trading sideways. 
moving to the commodity sector, the S&P 500 index had a range of uh, 12 points, uh, uh, currently at uh, 2122 level. Uh, the EIA natural gas star exchange rose by 65 billion British thermal units yesterday, below forecast for an increase of 78 billion. Uh, the natural gas futures rallied to a new eight-month high uh, in North America trade on Thursday after data showed that natural gas supplies and storage in the U.S. rose less than expected last week. In numbers for the commodities uh, on the gold, uh, investors have almost priced out the chance of rate increase in the Fed Reserve's uh, June 14 and 15 policy review and reduce the likelihood of a July increase to about 26%. Uh, gold reached its highest since May 18 in early trade at 1,266 per ounce before easing to 1,258.60, down by 0.3%. However, further upside is seen as metal confirmed above the 1,255 level, targeting 1,279. For the crude, um, the prices edged lower yesterday as traders took profits um, through prices uh, remained close to their highest this year thanks to a fall in U.S. crude um, inventories and supply disruptions. The crude fell by 60 cents or 1.2% to 50.63 a barrel after also keeping 2006 high at 51.67. All is about 50 a barrel, momentum still uh, remains fairly positive and what is seen is just a bit. Uh, a profit taken after three consecutive days of gains. Gold had a range of $16 at 1,264 right now. Silver had a range of uh, almost 40 cents at 1720 right now. The WTI $1.40 range at 5014. Natural gas 2 uh, 57 uh, and 17 cents range. Thank you very much for your attention. That was all for me. I wish you a successful trading day. Cheers.